Hey everyone, this is Dave from Archaeus Creative. Today we're going to pick up our discussion about proxies and focus on how to generate them. As I mentioned in the last video, it's best if your clips all have unique file names in order for your proxy files to attach properly. If your camera names your clips starting with 0001 each time you change a card while filming, this would be an important step to follow. If you're on a Mac, you can run a program called Automator to rename batches of files. What you'll want to do is drag your first card of footage files into Automator, then in the left-hand column select Files and Folders, and then double-click Rename Finder Items. This next pop-up asks if you want to create duplicate files with the new names, which I typically don't do since projects would get pretty large. From this drop-down select Add Text, then choose to add some sort of distinguishing characters per folder, such as ACAM, Sony, or the name of the shooter. I also prefer if these come before the file names. Once you've done this for each card that has overlapping file names, go ahead and create a new project within Premiere. When the new project window opens up, click over to the Ingest tab, and then select the box next to Ingest to activate the Ingest setting. From the drop-down menu, you can check any number of different options, but for this workflow, you'll want to pick Create Proxies. After that, you'll pick your preferred proxy codec, for our workflow, we typically use a 720p H.264, since they're usually smaller files and take up less hard drive space. Plus, they work just as well for editing. After that, you can pick where the proxy files will be saved, either in a spot next to the project file or on a drive. We tend to save our proxies onto the same external drive that our media is stored on, but depending on your workstation setup, you may have a more ideal place to save them. Once you've completed this process, you can begin to import your media like normal, and Premiere will open Media Encoder and begin generating the proxy files for each video clip you import. Now, let's say that you've already started a project and have decided you'd like to work with proxies because you're getting poor performance. Right-click on the clip or group of clips you want to create proxies for and go up to Proxy and then Create Proxies. In the pop-up window, you can select your preferred codec type, just like I showed you earlier, and set the destination for where you'd like these proxies created. After this, Premiere will create the proxies by sending them to Media Encoder. For both of these scenarios, you shouldn't have to attach proxies manually, but instead Premiere will do it automatically for you. You can check to see if the proxies are attached by making sure that the proxy metadata column is visible in the project panel. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to create proxies, no matter where you're at in your workflow. Check out our next video where we talk through the ins and outs of editing with proxy files. And as always, please like, subscribe, and comment below to let us know how much you enjoyed this walkthrough. Thanks.